calculate the KSP value of a sparingly soluble ionic compound. A KSP value is an indication of the molar solubility of a compound. Compounds are classified as being either soluble in water or insoluble in water. But the term insoluble is somewhat misleading. No compound is completely insoluble in water. Let's begin with a simple calculation to determine the KSP value of strontium fluoride. Calculate the KSP value of a saturated solution of strontium fluoride if the concentration of dissolved strontium cations is 7.3 times 10 to the minus 2 grams per liter. The chemical formula for strontium fluoride is SRF2. The equilibrium equation is written as follows, where Solid strontium fluoride will reach equilibrium in aqueous solution with strontium 2 plus cations plus 2 moles of fluoride anion. From the equilibrium equation, a KSP expression may be written where KSP represents an equilibrium expression as well. The KSP expression for this ionization will be KSP is equal to the concentration of strontium 2 plus cation times the square of the concentration of the fluoride anion. When writing the KSP expression, remember, the coefficients in the balanced equation become exponents in the expression. The coefficients may not be written inside of the brackets. And in any equilibrium expression, liquids and solids are always excluded. Therefore, from the ionization equation, the KEQ expression would be concentration of strontium 2 plus cation times the square of the fluoride anion divided by the concentration of strontium fluoride. Since strontium fluoride is a solid, it represents a constant. To clear the constant from the equilibrium expression, we simply multiply through by the concentration of strontium fluoride. This yields KEQ times the concentration of the solid strontium fluoride is equal to KSP, which is equal to the concentration of the strontium 2 plus cation times the square of the fluoride anion. Now return to the information in the practice problem where we're given 7.3 times 10 to the minus 2 grams per liter. The KSP value is based on the molar concentration of dissolved ions. Therefore, we must first convert 7.3 times 10 to the minus 2 grams per liter to molarity. To do so, first determine the number of moles of strontium fluoride that dissolved. 7.3 times 10 to the minus 2 grams per liter divided by 126 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of strontium fluoride, is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the minus 4 mole per liter, where in the calculation the grams will cancel. Now adjust the amounts based on the molar ratio, where strontium fluoride will ionize to produce one mole of strontium 2 plus cation, which has a molarity of 5.8 times 10 to the minus 4 mole per liter, and two moles of fluoride anion in aqueous solution. Since the ratio is 1 to 2, we must double the molarity to accommodate the fluoride anion. So at equilibrium, the concentration of fluoride anion will be 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Now insert these concentrations into the KSP expression. 5.8 times 10 to the minus 4 times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3 squared is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the minus 4 
times 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6. The product will be 7.8 times 10 to the minus 10, which represents the KSP value for the compound strontium fluoride. Notice that no units are written for the KSP value. KSP values are dimensionless, which means no units should be written. Using a simpler technique, let's calculate the KSP value for silver phosphate. Calculate the KSP value of a saturated solution of silver phosphate if the molar solubility of the compound was determined to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per liter, which represents molarity. The chemical formula for silver phosphate is Ag3PO4. In solution, solid silver phosphate will reach equilibrium with 3 moles of silver cation plus 1 mole of phosphate anion. The molar ratio of dissolved ions will be 3 to 1. Using a table that relates the KSP to the molar solubility of a compound, we may use a general formula to determine KSP. Notice that in this case, the number of ions produced resemble the same number of ions produced by the dissolution of aluminum hydroxide. Therefore, we may use the KSP expression representing the KSP of aluminum hydroxide to determine the KSP of silver phosphate. The KSP is equal to 27s to the fourth where in this case S is used instead of X. Inserting the molar solubility for X generates the following 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5 to the fourth times 27 is equal to 27 times 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 20. 27 times 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 20 is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the minus 18, which represents the KSP value for the compound silver phosphate. This concludes my explanation of how to calculate the KSP value for a sterilely soluble ion compound. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.